Welcome back to Medicine Deconstructed. I'm your host, Dr. Jay Rutland. As we all age or gain life experience, as I like to say, immune-related changes ensue. This is called immunosenescence, but I want to introduce you guys to the topic of inflammation. But let's talk about what that means to our body's immune system and potentially how to combat this natural process. Aging, or gaining more life experience, as I like to say, induces declining functions of the immune system called immunosenescence, which affects the composition, quantity, and function of the immune organs, cells, and cytokines. Here's the kicker. As a result of all this, we are at increased risk of serious infectious diseases, autoimmune disease, cancers, cardiovascular disease, and other processes. The top three things to know about immunosenescence include T-cell changes, B-cell changes, and senescent associated secretory phenotype, or SASP. But first, let's talk immunity. Remember there's an innate and an adaptive immune system. The innate immune system consists of general white blood cells, which may recognize a foreign antigen and present it to an adaptive immune system cell. There are also organs that are a part or a piece of the innate system, like the skin. There are receptors on epithelial cells that bind antigen or pieces of organism and activate the initial response, leading to a recruitment of innate cells to an area. Macrophages, dendritic cells, neutrophils, natural killer cells, innate lymphoid cells, eosinophils, basophils, and mast cells are all innate cells. Cells like macrophages and dendritic cells present antigen to cells of the adaptive immune system, activating them and letting them know there is danger. B cells, which originate and develop in the bone marrow, and T cells, which originate and develop in the thymus, are the biggest pieces of the adaptive system. These cells will eventually bind to specific pathogen. Once they bind, the pathogen can be neutralized, defeated, and eventually cleared from our bodies. This is how the immune system works, scientifically. All of this requires specific receptors, supporting cells, and other molecules like cytokines and chemokines to be coordinated in their attack. As we gain life experience or age, as you can imagine, this process becomes exhausted and doesn't perform as well. We call this immunosenescence. The top three things that happen, again, T cell changes, B cell changes, and SASP, or senescence associated secretory phenotype. Thanks for joining Medicine Deconstructed. This is generally how the immune system works and what can happen. On our next episode, we're gonna go into the specifics of how these cells lose their function and how it can affect our bodies and increase our risk of potential danger. We'll see you next time on YouTube.